Hey guys, what's up? We're going to be playing some Gun Builder Elite. And today we're going to be playing a uh, zombie mode here. For those of you who don't know, Gun Builder Elite is a free app on the iOS App Store for the iPhone and the iPad. So zombie mode is um, a mode here, a level. It's a one-time in-app purchase. And you just sort of defend your house from these zombies. You gain gold for each, each zombie killed. There is no in that purchase for gold or anything like that so it's just a one-time purchase and so the basic premise of the game is that you have a house and these these blurred thirsty zombies are all coming for you as you can see in the top left there is your radar which is quite useful you get to tell where the zombies are coming from. And there is four windows in this house. It'll be much easier to shoot them if uh, you just get to the window, which is right in front of them. That's because if they're moving sideways, then it's much harder to aim. So each zombie gives you about 10 gold. And you can use that to buy bullets and upgrade your house, repair your house. As you notice here that I'm just sort of getting a real good aim so that I can conserve my bullets. The game gets harder progressively, so these zombies, they start with a set amount of life. And as you get later in the waves, they have more lives. One thing to note is that headshots do have an effect on the zombies. And they take less bullets to take one down. So if you can get a good headshot aim, or even just around there, it will pay off. Easier said than done though, like, if there's a lot of zombies, you might not have the time to aim. Okay, wave 6 is where it gets interesting. The zombies start to have a lot more health and you have to manage your bullets as well as your reload time I'm using a scar here with a drum magazine which allows me to have a hundred rounds so that's pretty important so I don't have to reload as much which can save my life alright I'm gonna be upgrading my house here each house upgrade gives you 100 health which will just give me more room to maneuver when it gets a bit hectic later you'll see in a second So 
So as you can notice that I was mostly just tapping my gun a bit, tapping the fire button, but now I'm just letting go of the continuous stream of bullets. It takes so much more bullets to kill right now. kind of hard to talk and play, so do pardon me. Alright. We made it, we made it. So wave 8. A good strategy is to also Reload after killing two or three zombies, or even one. I mean, if it's not dangerous, you really want to put those reload times and in, in between things like moving around windows and when it's moderately safe. When it gets dangerous and they're all near your house. It's gonna be hard to reload. Okay, let's repair a little bit. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'll even reload after one zombie being killed. If it's safe. We'll survive this way. So, you know guys, just try out different kinds of guns. And try to find a good strategy. I mean, build a good gun. And just, you know, just experiment. some bullets here. The game does pa pause when when you're in the armory here. So don't worry, you just take your time. getting really difficult. It's important that it can just conserve ammo in the earlier stages. So you have the money and cash to survive the later stages. Okay, I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Die, zombie. Ooh. I just made it. I made it. Wave 11. I have not been able to get past this wave. This is one hard wave. As you get higher up in the waves, you do get more score for each zombie killed. So that will certainly help. 
trying to get after the boards. Uh oh. Oh shot. Okay, I think I'm dead. Like right. these guys. They just won't stop. They just won't stop. Okay. I'm dead. So I killed about 107 zombies here and reached wave 11. So, yeah guys, try it out. Gun Builder Elite on the iOS App Store.